Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of MD Workshop. On today's episode, we're looking at this little bad boy. So stay tuned as we discuss all there is to know about this little polisher. Bye. 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 Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on another episode of MD Workshop. For those of you that are new to my channel, uh, this channel is literally created for all things automotive, uh, but one of the main passions or one of the main episodes that when you guys browse through the video uh, catalog, is it's got to do with uh, all things detailing, uh, but there are a few other avenues that I will be exploring in the future, so if this is your first time, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Also, click the notify and click the notify all. That way you get notified whenever I do an upload. So on today's episode, we're discussing the Schultz Cordless Polisher. I should have actually said a mini polisher. And just a quick uh, background as to how I came about, um, you know, making use of this polisher. I'm busy redoing my coffee table, so I wanted to sand it down. I just wanted a good sander. I don't want anything expensive because woodworking and, and that whole thing is not really my thing. So I, I don't want anything expensive, anything too fancy. So I made my way down to check this hyper. And as I was walking down towards the power tools department, something caught the corner of my eye. And that's when I saw the, uh, that's when I saw the polisher just you know they have like displays of all the tools and i looked at it and i came for a sander and left with a polisher so go figure <laughs> um, but yeah I've, I've actually been pleasantly surprised by this little unit so let's get into it and actually discuss what this polisher can and cannot do and who it appeals to so the first thing is that it is portable it is cordless so that's quite nice, you know, if you're working in a tight spot, if the, you know, if you're working with very confined areas or very tricky areas like the side mirror or, you know, the different types of pillars, if you're working on the roof rail or the roof rack and you've got that little bit of, that little itty bitty bit of uh, space between the actual roof and the roof rack, uh, this is where something like this comes in very handy. Also, the specific polisher, you can actually attach the grab handle on either side on the left or on the right so depending on if you left the left handed or right handed that's quite a nice thing so it does come with a battery uh, level indicator as you guys can see so you'll be able to see if you need to charge it or how long you still have left the manual says it will get about an hour out of this I think in, the, in real world terms you'll probably get about 40 minutes out of this it also has a locking feature so no matter what you do the button on top here that is to lock the actual spindle and there we go so if you want to replace the backing plate and when you release it it locks in again and it's not going to go anywhere it does come with two speeds speed setting number one speed setting number two speed setting number one from what I read in the manual, it says it spins at 2500 RPM. Uh, setting number two spins at 7500 RPM. What I have found is that the difference between the two settings is that setting number two is actually, if you're going to think of it as a drill hammer mode, so that's more your aggressive um, polishing that's needed. Also, it is quite light, so you know, you're not going to need to worry about your wrist or anything or fatigue on your joints or anything like that so that's quite a nice feature as well removable battery lithium iron which is quite a nice feature so having played around with the polisher myself and actually you know uh, trying it out on my test panel uh, I found that speed setting number one is ideal I wouldn't recommend uh, a speed setting two like I said before that's more your hammer mode uh, speed setting number one is perfect. If you're going to use speed setting number two, I'd recommend that you do that on a flat surface. Uh, don't attempt that when you are doing any corners, uh, because for those that know and for those that don't know, the weakest part of any of, of paint 
and clear coat is when there's a little when there's a crease or a bend the little apex that is the paint's weakest point so if you come in there with uh, with a polisher you you know you can easily take that off and this is essentially a mini rotary polisher and what that means is that this little head spins on the same place and it generates a lot of heat so when using this polisher i would highly recommend um, using it on speed setting number one it's a lot more of a safer uh, cut the more experienced guys, the guys that have been using rotary polishers will know exactly how to use speed setting number two. Speed setting number one, I made use of a, of a hard cutting pad with a medium cut uh, compound. And what I did in addition to buying the polish, I went over to my good friends over at Crazy Detailer and I went and bought the Max Shine cutting foam pad. And so the can see very dense uh, nicely contoured it cuts quite nicely it does require a bit more uh, patience um, because you can either get it very right or very wrong um, but yeah so if you're looking for something like this or something similar like I said before go on over to crazy detailer or you can visit the guys over at Fairland at the walk-in store I was actually able to uh, you know, I was able to get a good result as you guys can see over there. I used the side mirror of my BMW, so I did a hard cut and I had to refine it afterwards, which I did. And this will work very well for anyone who makes use of an all in one. So, if you use something like mirror plate from Shield Chemicals or Auto Glim SRP, or uh, I know Rally has a similar product. Maguire's, uh, Mother's, anything that's an all-in-one for the price that you pay because I bought this on the 12th of June 2020 and I paid 600 grand for this so I think for the amount of money that you're spending um, this is actually a good addition to your de uh, detailing arsenal uh, so stay tuned guys I'm going to show you how I made use of this polisher uh, with the, the various pads and the various pump pumps.
So that's it guys. Tell me what are your thoughts with regards to this polisher. Would you get yourself one? As mentioned before, I really enjoyed working with this polisher. As long as you uh, stick to speed setting number one, you won't have any issues. Speed setting number two, just remember, uh, don't go over any corners or any bends. Um, if, unless you are a pro and you're not to make use of a rotary polisher. Otherwise, this is a fantastic uh, polisher and product for the price. As mentioned, I paid 600 Rand for this, so I think it's an excellent product for Father's Day. That being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash the thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Once again, I hope you guys keep warm uh, during this cold weather in South Africa. And thanks for watching. And remember, don't just clean your car, let's make it shine.